Yo people from T, I am Mark and made today with Amnesia and Dark Descent. So in the last episode we kind of progressed through the game and we are now trying to get a potion with the key that we now have. Um, I'm not sure, yeah the wine cellar is the place that we need to go. Because uh, we need a potion for the fleshy residue in one of the areas that we need to go to. And for that we need the po uh, potion stuff. So, yeah, let's go and make that. I don't know if the wine cellar is that big. Oh, it's this area. Oh, okay, I know where I'm at. Okay. Okay, good thing uh, already. Hmm. Okay, so what happened here? I have no clue. Let's see, I don't think there must be anything in this. What's happening? Oh, feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. Hmm. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Except. Yeah, something bad happened to them. My name is Willem, House of uh, Garrick. There is my final words, my confession and testament. Okay, two years ago I was summoned to the castle Brandenburg. Most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what this proposed knight of the order would want me and, okay. Uh, women, children, to Brandenburg. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I have a suspicion as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in the toast. But wine tasted fine and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returns upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My mind is screaming. The skin has been pierced by an untangled bones. Feel my insights were brought against their god given nature. Boot has begun to bar from my eyes and I can no longer see. Well, I can no longer see, I guess. That's what they tried to say. So we have now one part of the potion and we need four items. Oh, this area. Okay. Boo. Ow. Yeah, so the shadow is trying to get in. Still. Number 70 is all bad. But we got another part of the uh, potion. Now we need to get out of this. So we need to move all these rocks away. Then these. And then this. Okay. No, open. Okay. Here's another part. Let's just make it a little bit lighter. Hmm, that sound doesn't that sound good. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so 
I have now. I'm just going to say because uh, it says dot dot dot. So I'll have to try to stay with the light because I'm shivering it all. Okay, somebody climbed up here. Yeah, I'm really going insane. Even my motion is bad. Here must be somewhere where I can get the uh, next um, next part of the potion, but my sanity is really low. Oh, there it is. And my sanity is back up. So if you see that uh, a flashy thing, the blue flashy uh, stuff. Then it means that your sanity is go, uh, go back up. As you can see, it has been restored, so that's good. Because there are some items in the game, like sanity potions, which you can't find in this main game. And there goes the shadow. Now we need to go to the laboratory. Okay, now we can get a potion or something. Let's see. Pepsi pot, Agarigia, Calamine, Cupreet. That's a lot of them. I didn't mean to click on that. Okay, that is going. That is going. There it is. A pot of acid. That's what we needed. Stress have collapsed. But that's no issue. Because you have these. And now we're going to go to the next part. And the shadow is getting close again. Now we can go here and this is the part, the refinery. To the refinery. Okay. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dangle. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Okay. Whoa. Is 
Seems like the shadow has been here as well. What was that? Uh. Inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. All right. Imagine it all. Was there ever a complete orb? Okay. Um, let's see. Ow, that's making the door in my face. Just trying to get some items in these areas. Then we go we'll go and progress. Twenty-fifth of June, eighteen thirty-nine. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. Hmm. Seem to change color, shape, and texture for ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Hmm, yeah. Okay. I don't want that. Okay, let's get this. This open. Yeah, the shadow's getting close, really close. Cellar archives. Just win, just win. Get up. Just 
just eat this. Open this. Okay, that's done. Hollow needle. Archive tunnels. Yeah, that is another monster that is in the game, but you can't see it. <laughs> you can only hear it. Yep, here we go again. Here we go. The back hall. This music though. It's always an intense moment. Always. There we go. Yeah, so I'll try to do one of the rooms in here somewhere, I'm not sure where this is going. Storage, no, that's a big area, we can do that in the next episode. So close that door, or we can do these two first. Let's see, this is the guest room, the other one. Let's go to the study first. And then in the guest room, and then in the next episode, we'll go to the storage. Uh, this is a mess. Here we can talk. Why? Why do I hear a duck in the game? Yeah, this is where they tested on animals. Suppose. Ooh. The bones. Let's see, this is not the way we can go. No, that's blocked off. Let's 
really odd to be walking outside of the normal building. Okay, here we are. Yeah, we need these rods to fix up the elevator. There we go. Yeah, the shadow is getting close, as you can see. Now we can go out of here. To the back hall again, and then we can go to the guest room, was it? Yeah. This is a mess. Searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Hmm. Okay. Um. They said Bayak. Hey, crowbar. Daniel after one hour and then trapped him. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar tale. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He'd pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Hmm. That's an uh, interesting fact. Oh yeah. The key. Indeed. Could it be here? Fourth of July, eighteen thirty nine. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating. 
for the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched a file which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The hmm. stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Yeah. Just hide. Just hide. Oh yeah, he's breaking through the door. Okay, so I will leave this episode right here. So we made a lot of progress in this uh, this episode. And in the next one we will go to the storage and then something with the elevator we need to fix or something. So uh, please leave a like, subscribe to our channel and see you next video. Bye.